Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Today, we are embarking on another epic adventure. Today marks the beginning of life of a samurai if you guys have never seen my life of a series before basically what we go ahead and do is we dive into a campaign and we use the amazing freelancer mob that allows me to join up as a individual soldier in any of the lords or ladies armies across Calradia. it's an absolutely spectacular mod then basically what you do when you join them armies you have absolutely no control over what is happening you are just a simple soldier in the ranks leveling your way up then you progress through the ranks as you get more kills experience etc etc and uh, then you go up and you, you level up and then you can be a tier two tier three an archer a cavalryman and then eventually you hit the max rank when you do that in the new freelancer you actually get granted a settlement it's obviously a long ways away you have to really get in there you have to prove yourself grind your way to the top but when you hit 15,000 experience you do actually get granted a settlement and get made a lord of that faction which is such an awesome feature and obviously if you don't want that you can also decline it as well so you don't actually have to take that settlement if you want to go off and forge your own kingdom. So today we are going to be starting that. I'll go ahead and stick my mod list up on your screen right now so you guys can check it out. I try to go for a much more simpler mod list this time uh, so you guys can also download it. I know when I do have these big 40, 50 mod, uh, mod playlists, uh, you guys do get a little bit confused as it is pretty complicated to get them all to work. Um, in one go. However, this time it should be a lot more simple. I am probably going to be adding a few mods here and there as the campaign progresses, but for now that's basically what I have. I am also playing on 1.6.2 again, just mainly because it's uh, a lot more of the mods are updated for 1.6.2 and we need stuff like Distinguished Service, which is a mod when I go independent, uh, which allows me to create as many companions as I, as I want when anyone in my army gets more than 5 kills and become a companion and when I get to name them after you amazing members as well as that the members will be scattered throughout the campaign as well uh, i on my discord uh, all the lords and king level members have actually been given clans and characters before we dive into this campaign so you'll see some awesome uh, some awesome members in the game as kings and lords and, and, and other stuff like that which is really really uh, dope obviously the main mod we're using is going to be the ronin mod that is the japan mod uh, the mod that adds in uh, japan in inspired soldiers so there's a lot of samurai-esque soldiers and the faction is pretty goddamn deadly they are they spawn very, like in the east they have about four to five settlements and a lot of clans as well they don't have as strong clans as everybody else but they have quite a few of them which allows for some really exciting gameplay so what we're gonna do um so unfortunately i have tried to click the uh the, the japanese culture here but it does seem to crash the game so we are gonna have to pick someone else which isn't the end uh, you know isn't the end all of the all i think it's gonna be absolutely fine i'm gonna grab the kuzites because we are kind of more in that eastern side of things and the kuzites are the most kind of like asian-esque faction that we have in battle lord even though you know they're kind of obviously after the mongols the mongols stretched everywhere so uh they they'll kind of do for now which is which is fine with me and they have some pretty good stats as well they have uh, recruiting the upgraded mountain troops to 10 percent cheaper that's going to be really really nice because the, ja uh, the japan faction does does have or i guess it's called the ronin faction has a very very tasty heavy cavalry line so uh, we're going to be going down that and hopefully cutting some people down with some amazing glaives so let's go ahead and do that we also get more production from you know from cattle and stuff which isn't bad but we also get this money from tax which also isn't necessarily uh, great so let's go ahead and we'll go and grab up a, a nice little body uh, so we'll just randomize the body Try and get something decent for ourselves, you know, nice. And we're obviously going to have long hair. We're going to go from there. Obviously, you want to be a child. This man is extremely old. So let's maybe, uh, maybe this will be good. Let's make him a little bit younger. You're a, uh, yeah, that'll do for now. Wait, we'll make him a little bit skinnier. Make him a bit butcher, which is always like. And obviously, we have to go with a super, oh, there you go. Yeah, we have to go with a super high-pitched voice as well. Where even, where even is the voice? Is it down here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Super high pitch voice. That's exactly what we want to do. And big old hands, because you know what they say about big old hands and big old forearms. Uh, so face, uh, I think face is is probably pretty good. Um, so let's just go to hair. And obviously, I want to give myself some good looking long hair. Uh, but I'm ready for battle. And the question is, do we become long shaven? I'm actually not too sure if we do. There you go. That's very cool. Yeah, we'll go with ponytail. Um, I guess we'll just go with like dark hair. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. Any markings? I don't think so. No scars. I mean, maybe we can have like a lip scar or something. 
you know, that we've actually seen battle, but we are just joining up as an individual soldier. So what, maybe what we'll do is for now, we'll leave ourselves blank. And then maybe when we hit a certain rank, I'll give myself, maybe when we get wounded, uh, I'll go ahead and give myself some scars across the face. I mean, that, God damn, that looks like I've been absolutely uh, ravaged, um, which does kind of fit our backstory. But even still, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, I think we are, we're good to go. I don't think we want a beard. I think we want to be clean, clean shaven. So let's dive on. Uh, and then we have a few decisions to make. You know, I'm going to be going kind of a little bit try hard. I mean, obviously, uh, I think, you know, we are going to be focusing on the kind of mounted cavalry. But again, at the beginning of the campaign, I'm not going to be... I, I, I can't afford a horse. I'm just a lonely recruit in an army. So... I guess we will go ahead. Like, my father was a nobleman, but our village was ravaged. Um, so that that kind of makes sense. So we'll do that. Then as I was young, I mean, again, brawn is always good. But in the new 1.6 updates, you kind of really have to kind of focus on a handful of skills. You can't really uh, go down just like heavily focus down everything. But I think, again, I'll go I'll go with my skill of horses. Uh, you know, that is, a, that is a thing. My, my village was known for that. So we'll focus on that. Um, and again, I think for the most part, it's going to be like, but then also, do I want to go glaives or do I want to go like proper samurai swords? Again, there's just so many decisions. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what we should do. Um, I guess, you know, kind of this would be a bad one as well, getting like a bow skill uh, as will be like a horseback rider as well. I mean, I just kind of find myself wanting to do pretty much everything in this. Maybe train with a cavalry again, but is that too much in there? I mean, training the infantry also isn't bad. I also kind of feel like we need a point in athletics because that's going to definitely do it. I think, we'll, I think what we'll do is train with the infantry because it does give us a bigger point, which will allow us to get these skills that a little bit faster. Um, and then what do we want to do down here? Uh, athletics couldn't be bad. Social is always good as well. Getting a point in that early is not so bad. And we'll just really focus down like, yeah, social vigor and endurance, I guess. And it also gives us a point in stewardship, which is really good as well and then we'll just be a young we'll be a young man i think i think we'll be 20 fresh we get a couple more points to spend but that is absolutely fine and then for a name we do of course have a name and this was chosen uh by a uh by our uh our highest donator of the last month which i really appreciate this was this was named by victor so big shout out to victor uh, i really do appreciate the support so it's going to be asana uh asana nagar N Asana Naganori. There we go. Finally got there. Uh, my pronunciation is appalling, but let's just dive in. We'll be playing on the, uh, on the battle difficulty. Uh, we'll allow this. It makes my life much easier when we get start getting companions. And yeah, just realistic everything. I don't really see a reason uh, not to. So also a little thing as well. The first five episodes of this campaign are going to be uh, in video format. I'm actually away as of when you guys are seeing this for five days. So the first five episodes of this series are are going to be on video format pretty much one after the other every day and then on the following monday this will be turning into a live stream campaign the live stream campaigns are amazing we get so much more done i can interact with you guys you guys can influence my decisions they're really really cool however if you guys can never make my live streams or maybe i just you know you just don't really enjoy them that much live don't worry they'll all go into a playlist down below in the description so you can watch them and you can just watch them in hour blocks you know as if they are videos it's really really easy so our, our clan name as well is going to be of Akko. So we are Asano Naganori of, of Akko. So, okay, I managed to uh, fix banner pace. I don't know exactly what was wrong with it, but I just uh, restarted my game and it seemingly worked, which is perfect. So yeah, let's continue to head our way down south. We obviously have to be very careful of bandits as we do prepare ourselves to make our way obviously down to where our kingdom is. And I believe they're actually already at war with the Kuzites. Uh, yeah, they are. So we're going to have to obviously join up, enlist in the armies. You can see that uh, Lee Sin right there is already building his army, uh, which is one of you guys. So obviously there are a ton of members scattered around the campaign map we've got leashing the crew of the nomadic enlightens uh we have i believe i named someone over here as well yeah drago of the frozen blades we have a couple down in the, the japan faction which is what we're joining we have shino N nabu the great uh, which is really cool of clan still fear we have the red sun and lee han uh so there's a ton of people scattered throughout i also believe uh, the azari have one so if you guys are a lord or a, yeah good hook for wise right there if you guys are a lord or king 
King level member. You can find out more about that by hitting the join button below the stream. Uh, you guys let me know. If you haven't really got your character in this campaign, let me know. And then obviously... Uh, all the, the tier 1s and tier 2s, we'll be able to get them when we start getting companions. We get tons of companions through the Distinguished Service mod, which is really, really dope. Uh, basically, whenever anyone in my army gets 5 kills, like I mentioned in the intro, uh, they become a companion. And then we get to name them after you guys in the live streams, uh, which will be really, really fun. So now that we are down here, and we only have to pay looters once to annoy me, uh, to stop annoying me, we now have to actually go ahead and decide on who we're going to join. Uh, you know, finding a man that we can follow is going to be pretty important. Also, if you guys want to take a look at the unit roster, this is what we've got. So we've got kind of a, a two-handed samurai tree right here. They don't have any shields, just a, you know, just a, a two-handed two sword, and that's about it. Um, I mean, where's this pole arm right there? That's a one-handed katana. Unless it's pole arm, maybe this is how it's set up. They also, I noticed, don't have great armor either. 24 armor on the body isn't great, um, but we'll have to see how that plays out in battle. We then have the spear shielded infantry line right here looking very cool. The heavy cavalry, and I know the cavalry in the Toshin mod is exactly what you want to get. They are brutal. Uh, you then obviously also have the archer line as well as the horse archer line that have the Naganatas on their back as well. So yeah, you really want to focus when you're building an army for the Ronin mod. Uh, you really want to focus on that cavalry because it is super deadly. So I was looking at a few of the lords, and I think the lord I want to join is Kuro. He looks pretty badass, um, and he has a cool sigil and stuff, so I think that is the clan. I'm going to head down and, and join up with him. If I see, I think he has a, a daughter, or his wife is also leading an army. So if I see her, I'll join her, uh, you know, whatever one uh, kind of piques my interest. But hopefully we'll get into battles right away, because... We are already at war, and there you go, there is Kuro himself, looking pretty badass, a man I could follow into battle, so how it is going, um, let's go ahead and join him, let me join your war band, and boom, there you go, we are now in his army, we have no decision over what he does, he could lead us into the desert and starve us for 100 days, there is nothing we can do about it, I am obviously at tier 1 right now, I need to get 600 experience to hit the next tier, and that will allow me to, uh, that will allow me to go ahead and pick from all the different uh, units at that tier, so for example, we did just look at it, but I'll show you guys again, when we, uh, when we hit tier 2, and we go Desvera Toshi, what are you right there? So yeah, if we hit tier two, we'll be able to pick between an archer and an infantry. However, we can change whenever we want. When we hit tier three, we're going to be able to pick between any of these. And again, we can we can check every single second we could change between them. Uh, and then obviously at the next tier, we get to pick between all of these and then the final tier. So I like that. I like that idea of being able to change up. So it makes the campaign a little bit more interesting. Maybe in a siege battle, you don't want to be on horseback. So you decide to be you know an archer instead. Uh, you, know, you can basically just have some fun with it which is cool and if you want to play super serious you can just pick one and that, that's your pick you know it's up to a player to decide uh, uh so yeah we gain experience through killing uh for doing damage uh, and a handful of other things i'm also going to drop a save here as well uh just in case we do crash at any point as i know the running mod isn't the most stable in the world but it's, it's not that bad um so it should be fine um yeah so yeah you get experience for doing damage the higher tier units you damage slash kill the more experience you get and we need 600 in total. You also get 10 just daily experience as well. So there's always that little bit of gain. You can also see down here as well, we are getting some athleticism as well. So that's going to be good. So cool, we got our first siege battle. This is going to be interesting because we are a low tier unit. <laughs> we have no armor, um, an awful weapon. Okay, we are in the battle now, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm actually really nervous because if I pause you guys and take a look at the units, like we have a very little shielded infantry, which in a siege battle is going to be absolutely brutal. But we do have some. Obviously, the, the, the spearmen, the yaris, and, and that will be able to give us some protection. But we have none of that. So we're going to have to be a true scavenger in this battle. We're going to have to find the dead, pick up their equipment, and fight hard. So it seems like we've got the Siege Tower on the left-hand side. We are obviously also using the Siege Tower fix as well. So the Siege Tower should work perfectly. Which I'm very much looking forward to. And that should make Siege Battles. I mean, Siege Battles in general in 1.6.2 are much better. So, yeah, I mean, I guess... We need to be careful because, like, one arrow will kill us. So we just, like, sit here. This is, like, a, a good little ride up to the battlefield. And just keep an eye out for someone being hit by artillery or dying. I mean, lots of people are dying. Realistically, I would love to be able to get pick up like a bow. 
That would be the dream. And there is actually... Oh, okay, there you go. Perfect. I mean, all of them guys just died. Okay, but I mean, we obviously need to make sure we run away from the, the place that just got struck. Oh, there's also a shield. Perfect. Let me pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. God damn it, man. Do we not have enough for a sword? There you go. Cool. No, we didn't have a bow. Oh, we, we picked up two arrows. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can rack up a kill or two. I mean, our, our bow skill is going to be... Yeah, look how bad that is. My God. But it's better than nothing, and it's better than just charging in. So we might be able to do some damage. And again, you get experience points for just doing damage in this. So, oh no, the siege tower went down. That's not good. That is not good at all. Losing that siege tower is huge. I guess we will obviously smash our way over. Because it basically means we have to go up the ladders now. Which is not good. Uh, just going up the ladders is a little bit shaky. We'll use this as protection. I mean, there's no way I make these shots very right. Yeah, not when it just goes into that as well. And you can already see their sorted infantry going in. But at least it's kind of a bit of an easy target. Here you go, 28 damage. That's like 10 experience right there. Oh, God damn. So I think our best bet is going to go, obviously, go through the uh, gate itself. I can't believe we've not hit a single person yet. God, our archery skills. So let's get closer. Should be able to hit from here. I mean, you can't really see anyone from here. Oh, we got a kill though. That's good. That's some good experience. It's only a militia, but still pretty decent. If we get up to here, I should be okay. Is the gate open yet? Have we managed to cut our way through that gate? Yeah, we actually have. Nice. Okay. Let's pull out our sword. Let's pull out our shield. Wait, do I not have a sword? Oh, I don't, do I? Yeah. Okay, sword and shield now. Oh, we are blitzing through here. Perfect. Oh, we have so many archers there, though. Keep our shield up there. And let's just try and kill some routing men. I mean, them, them archers are going to massacre us. I don't really want to charge them. Yeah, they are cutting us down. Well, we've cleared over this right-hand side where the siege tower was. So that's good. This is them archers, man. I'm scared of them. But we are pushing now, so I'll just go with the boys as best as I can. Doesn't seem like they... Oh, my God. They don't want to go after them. I can't really... Again, I'm just trying to survive, you know? My life is at stake here. There we go. Okay, we've, we've broken this. Our archers are trying to get to the gate. Obviously pulling out swords now and fighting. Unfortunately, we do like next to no damage, but... Yeah, they're just running now. If we can get any of these high... If I can kill this guy, that'd be juicy because he's worth so much experience. My, this is why you can see putting points in athleticism is so good. Because you can just obviously keep up to these... Oh, they're stuck! Yes, let's go! No! I'm not going to catch him. At least get that guy. Okay, cool. Well, we cleared the Solomon. I did pretty good. Five kills. I'll take that. That must push us relatively close to the next tier. I mean, who's left? Yeah, we won. Nice. The Solomon has been secured. I like to see it. Good on you, boys. We'll cheer as well. There we go. I'm happy. We won. Time to feast. Perfect time. Cool. Yeah, I mean, we got five kills. We did lose a, a decent part of our army, but now we get into the keep battle, which is cool. So, obviously, keep battles are a thing in 1.6.2. Uh, so, let's move in there. We are pretty good on HP. Um, so, we are just going to sit back and, obviously, play quite passive. I've actually never attacked a, a Kuzai uh, keep before. Pretty much any damage I can do is going to be good. Not that I think, not that I think I'm going to be able to do much. There you go. I got a kill on a Nomad. I mean, tier one, but... I'll take him.
And I really hope uh, Tailwells do go, like, do, like, add more stuff to these siege battles. Whenever they have scenes like this in, it'd be really cool to have, like, multi, like, for the capital to have, like, a two, two part siege battle where you do siege, like, the next layer in a wall or something like that. would be so cool. Ah, oh, oh yeah, I thought I died there. Luckily not. Guys, like, slippery. Um, yeah, it'd be really cool to have like, you know, multiple part of siege battles. You maybe the, the, the city center has a, uh, a siege battle. Sorry, the uh, city capitals have a siege battle where it's like you fight for the outer wall and you fight for the inner wall and then you fight for a keep battle. I think that would be really cool. Oh, I blocked that even though I didn't see. I couldn't even see where he was attacking me from. Luckily, I managed to get that off though. This is quite a, a lengthy uh, keep as well. I like it. Oh my god, there's so many of them. This is one of the largest keeps I've, I've seen because that ones are, are awesome. I'm actually going to go and grab that shield as well. Better safe than sorry. And I've already done decently in this. Made myself just that little bit safer. Is that everybody? Yeah. And there's the treasure room. It'd be really cool if you could actually loot some stuff in here as well. Like add more interactive stuff. But nice, the keep has been taken. We've secured ourselves our first settlement. Getting a little bit renowned. Got four kills there as well, so I think nine in total. That could be enough. No, we're just short of hitting the next rank, uh, which is a little bit shame. But hell yeah, we took that first settlement. My first battle wasn't too bad. We also leveled up a little bit as well. Oh yeah, we have all our level ups from the beginning as well. Um, so let's do this. So we have a we have one uh, main attribute point. I'll probably stick that in, in Vigor. And then we'll stick some in Intellect for Stewardship, which will be really important later. And we have some focus points. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. Um, like if I, because in 1.6.2, you kind of have to focus a handful of stats. You can't just get everything that you can, but it's going to be slower. I'm not sure if I want to go samurai, like two handed, like samurai, or if I want to go like, uh, like kind of like a, a sword and then poem. I'm honestly not too sure. So I might leave that a little bit over, uh, uh, up in the air. I'll probably stick another point in one handy because that's what we're going to be using to begin with. Uh, and we'll definitely take the deflect skill. Uh, I'll still no point in riding, even though we're not getting any right now. I guess athletics can take... Uh, it's just such a waste. Because we're going to be switching over to probably cavalry at some point. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave these two focus points. You guys can let me know in the comments what you, uh, what you want to see. Uh, okay, cool. And we're now we're heading back home now, I think. Yeah, we're heading... You can already see where the army is going because it marks it for you. Um, so we're heading back home now. Uh, oh, we're breaking apart as well, which is fine. Hopefully we don't end up dying. Yeah, we only have 73 men left in the army. But the nice thing is, it's only going to take us five days to rank up because we get that daily experience gain. Yeah, we are heading back home. Luckily, though, I have the, uh, the very, very awesome uh, better time mod that allows me to speed up the time by like 10. So it's really awesome. So he just grabs 35 men there. Um, so in, in down periods like this, we can do that. And I think we just got a uh, mission pop-up saying that we're going to be ambushed. I was speeding time up, so maybe we missed it. But yeah, there's going to be deserters. So yeah, this is really cool. You have like these mini missions like this. I was hoping we could get our last tick of experience. But yeah, basically, uh, with the new Freelancer update, you have stuff like this happening. Whereas like deserters or bandits or maybe your, your lord asks you to do something inside of a city or maybe the local clans ask you to do something. Um, which basically really just kind of like, you know, when your lord isn't doing anything, it gives you something to do, uh, which is always cool. So let's march our way forward. And uh, yeah, again, we just, again, we're already going to be tier two. So it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, if we don't get any kills. But again, they actually have some really good soldiers as well, from what I remember, yeah. Don't know why we're all the way over here when their army's over there. Um, they have some infantry, some horse archers, some cavalry. It's gonna be a pain. Uh, we're kind of facing the wrong way. Oh, we're in a circle as well. I don't know why we're playing defensive. I'm gonna try and use these bodies as my human shield. Well, that cavalry is just gonna harass us. To no end. And I myself am going to try and uh, use these guys as a shield. As we don't really have much else. Oh, here we go. 
Bring him down. I did. Oh, that's good. If I. Oh, nice. Can I ride that horse as well? I can't. But I can equip his shield. That's going to be a good amount of experience as well. Cool. Now we have a shield. Now we have a spear. I can start dealing with a handful of their stuff. Oh, what did I get hit by? I mean, that's just going to be the way of things. Until we get better armor, getting one shot by an arrow is going to be the pain in my ass. Because, yeah, I got a headshot, I think, which is what did it. But hey, we got that kill on that tier, like, 5 or tier 6. So, it'll be enough for now. And now the boys are going to clear things up. You know, we have taken a lot of casualties. We've lost 30 men so far. But yeah, now we clear up these. Luckily, obviously, just having so many more men. I say that. Hello, kill them. <laughs> it can be super frustrating sometimes as well, just watching the AI just do the most stupid things in the world. But luckily now all they have to do is just deal with these uh, horse archers, hopefully. And there, they're done. I mean, they have enough men. And there we have it. The battle has been won. They did take their pound of flesh, though. That is for sure. That should be enough to level us up to tier 2, which allows us to then... Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, you have proven yourself to be a fine warrior for your bravery and loyalty. I've decided to give you a promotion. Visit my bladesmith and armor in the camp, and they'll provide you with the gear best befitting your rank. So now we can decide between three. We can be uh, this guy, which is sword and shield. We can be an archer or an infantry. Going to pick the sword and shield, I think, is going to make us a much better uh, chance. I can't fight in this battle, unfortunately, because I'm wounded. Um, but yeah, we got some experience with that. And that's also one of the things I really like. There's a bunch of missions uh, that allow you to get relationships and bonuses with certain certain units and certain like places. So you can get like missions here that allow to boost your relationship with shop owners uh, and same with villagers, which is really cool in Freelancer because it allows you to basically, uh, you know, kind of almost get the same things as if you were going solo, but in an army, uh, which is really important because it does suck. Um, yeah, there's some poachers here this time. Good thing I did pick the shielded guy uh, because I think the poachers are all archers. Yeah, 50 archers. It's a good thing I did. And look at us already. I mean, outfitted quite nicely. I do say so myself. Decent shield. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of arrows coming in on us. Closing the distance is going to be super important. And, oh, come on. Charge them. And as you can see as well, my um, my athleticism is not good. I'm so slow. Don't know if I'm even going to be able to get on any of them. Yeah, they're running before I can even get there. And that's, that's the downside of uh, not putting any points in athleticism. Is I'm just so slow that the battle's over before it even begins. But hey, not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, did we also get a level up somewhere as well? Nice, athleticism did go up. So we'll definitely increase our movement speed. Our charm went up as well. Um, and I'll, I'll keep on saying this until they do something about it. But this is, by far, the worst skill in the entire game. There is nothing that comes close to it. When introducing yourself to a lord for the first time, so this only happens once when you introduce yourself to a, to a person who's leading an army, you have a 10% chance to gain two relations so it's not even it'd be okay if it was like oh every time you meet someone you get you know two relations it's a 10 percent chance it's the smallest chance of getting the, like a, a minuscule amount of relations it's so bad i believe this one isn't even in the game right uh people always tell me the top one isn't even in the game but i'd rather that than a 10 percent chance to gain a measly two relations with someone it's so bad tail worlds please fix it are we still at war out of interest uh, yeah, we are set at war. Oh, we made an alliance with the Northern Empire as well. So yeah, I'm using the diplomacy mob that allows us to actually get alliances with factions, uh, which is super cool. And uh, I assume it's because we're both fighting the Kuzites. Uh, so we, we forged an alliance, which is so dope. I love that. I really do. Has anyone else forged an alliance? 
Probably not. Uh, for the most part, you need to have... I, I did make it so alliances were a little bit more regular. I gave everybody a, a, min, a plus 10 to forging alliances. So pretty much, if, if factions are at war with uh, one person, like if two factions are at war with one person, there's probably a pretty good chance that they will forge an alliance to beat that person, and then they'll probably break it uh, after that alliance is done, uh, or a little ways after that alliance is done. But I really like that. I think mean, that's such a cool feature. I love the diplomacy mod. Um, so yeah, big, big fan of that. So as you can see, our next rank is 1700. And the question is, do we want to switch? Uh, we also are making some good money as well. Um, so, hey, so this is the silversmith. Uh, do I want to make some gold? I've got a problem with an upstart by the name of uh, Discan Scythe. He has been borrowing shop owners under our protection, demanding money, making threats. I mean, okay, sign me up. I'll give it I'll give it my best shot, but I I don't I don't expect us to do too well here. We've done these missions before and you get given a lot less men than they do. Uh but we'll give it our best shot. So let's uh, let's fight in this little choke point. I think it'll be a good idea. So there's 24 of them and 19 of us. Not great. Okay, let's let's forge a line here. We'll we'll bring them into the hot gates where their numbers mean nothing. Hold the line, boys. And charge. I mean, so far, so good. That's a lot of green. And that's a lot of red. It's hard to tell who's who as well. I am just swinging. I think there's a lot more of them than there are of us. Oh, one on one. Yes, we did it. Look at this massacre. Oh my God. Imagine me just like, officers, there's been a battle. And I'm just like, here, yeah, just like, it wasn't me. I promise. I had nothing to do with this. We clutched that one out though. Uh, how many kills did we get? Five kills as well. Not bad. And um, three skills in medicine. I guess I'll take that. And seven in one handed skills. That's really important. The sooner we get better one handed skills, um, you know, it's going to be really important. 1600 gold, uh, some skill points in charm, and also some roguery. I'll take that. As well as that, it also gives you really good renown because it's a battle where you're actually outnumbered. And we'll drop a save here as well. Uh, it's a battle where you're outnumbered. So it's actually really good because it gives you like six renowned, which again is really important because if we spend our, the entire early game in this army, we're going to be uh, we're going to be like under ranked on renown. But with their missions, you actually end up getting a, a decent amount of renown. Uh, oh, and we're at war with Yazari. Do we peace out with the Kuzites? Uh, we did. And then we, uh, sorry. Yeah, we did. Um, I mean, yeah, we, we, we got a non-aggression with, the, with them, yeah. Still, I've got our alliance, which is good. Uh, out, out of the frying pan and into the fire, I guess. So a minor battle, there's like, what, three of them. So I'm just going to charge. Cavalry will probably beat me to it, but maybe we can get a little bit of experience. Yeah, that cavalry. The, the, to the, the Ronin cavalry is really strong, especially the mounted variants as well. That's what we're going to be really focusing on, I think, is when we get there, is to, uh, to build ourselves up. Come on, let me get there in time. Perfect, we got the kill. That's, that's why we do these battles. That's why we do these battles. Um, I'll, I'll take it. Nice, nice, nice. Because, yeah, getting rank 3 would be amazing. Obviously, I don't think we'll do it this episode, but next episode, I think almost certainly uh, we will. And it might be a good idea as well to switch over from doing athletics to doing something else. Because, again, if our plan is to obviously mount and... Uh, and, you know, be on horseback f as quickly as possible. Which, I, again, I don't know if I really want to 100% do that. It could be a good idea to, like, maybe hit, like, 50 athletics and then just stop it. Because athletics is always going to be important. Being relatively fast is always important. But it's maybe not necessarily something we, we def desperately always need. I mean, be careful not to get, obviously, swamped and, and obviously run over by all their archers and stuff. But boys are getting stuck in now. Yeah, any, any kills we can get here is going to be good because it's always such a cluster. Move on to the archer line where it's easy pickings and there's not like a million soldiers here. Oh, yeah, being slow sucks. Nice. Anyone else we can get? Man, there's a horse there. Can we ride this horse? It looks like a pretty high level one, so probably not. No. 
Yeah, even with we have decent riding, but even with that, we can't get it. And there we go. Vasily's been taken. Two kills again. That's a little bit of experience. And the ranks are good as well. So I'll take all of that. Oh, yeah, we need to be careful as well not to die because, again, we could quite... Oh, there we go, a big battle. Nice. And we get a battle. Perfect. Okay, now let's take a look at this. We have another actual free attribute point, which I'm going to stick in intelligence just because I'm going to need it at some point. So just getting one in here is going to be good. I was going to have a point in stewardship at some point as well. I guess I'll do that just so we can hit 50 and then we'll leave it. Like, uh, form-fitting armor is nice. It means you can wear super heavy armor. doesn't slow you down as much. Yeah. Uh, and then we have one more focus point. To stick in. I just don't know. Because leadership is not important right now. We're not going to be getting it. Unless we switch over to it. Which could be a good idea. I guess we'll go with scouting. Uh, we can probably become our scout. Even though I have really bad stats. Uh, but yeah. Let's dive into this battle. Let's see. Let's see what they have to offer. It's going to be a fairly one. So I want us to form a defensive ring. Oh yeah. I remember the Azerite are brutal in 1.6.2. Because they just have a million cavalry. Yeah, look at that. We have six cavalry. They have 40. This could be a, a loss, you know. Oh, we actually have 17 horse archers, which I guess is good. Um, but yeah, the Azerai are like the new Kuzites. They have so much heavy cavalry. It's actually brutal. But yeah, we'll sit here and wait for the infantry to come. Hold the line. That's one also one of the downsides of this faction as well, as we have no throwing weapons. I just want us to charge. Okay. Let's get around the flanks, maybe. A little bit easier to, to hit people. Cool, taking him down. Cavalry also, if we can get any of that would be not bad. Oh, no damage, man. Obviously killing the cavalry is a good idea. Good, good, good. There are archers coming in, though. Can we go charge the archers? Oh, also as well, something I completely forgot to mention, at the higher tiers as well, um, when I hit rank 6, I believe, I actually go ahead and get to, um, I get to actually command the part of the army as well. So at tier 6 or tier 5, I can't remember, it's one of those, uh, I actually get to command a part of the, uh, the army, whether it's the infantry, the archers, I actually get to decide, uh, which is super dope. And nice, there's a horse here. Let's move in, get some kills. And that was not a single kill there, which is not good. Nice. Some good experience there. I don't even know why the army's not charging. Oh, there's so much cavalry left. Oh, my God. Is there, like, a spear lying around? I'm really scared because this guy always just tries to go for the horse. Let's try and get a spear. They're all just going for my goddamn horse. I killed my horse. Luckily, there's plenty more around here, but still. Oh, we can't even get on that one. No. There's one right here. Perfect. Okay. Okay, there. Oh, we can't get on that one either. Oh, the worst. Luckily, their archers are pretty much slain. It's just the cavalry left. There we go. Awesome. The nice thing is about mounting these horses as well is you can actually just chase down and get some routing kills as well. Come on. There we go. Perfect. That everything. Yeah. Nice little victory right there. Three kills. I'll take it. Some pull-arm skill. Uh, a little bit of one-handed. Yeah, I mean, we're winning some pretty decisive battles. And also, we gain relationship as if we were to help this person. So now we gain, yeah, you can see a little bit of relationship right there with her. Perfect. That is great. Cool. Now, I mean, I want to be a little bit careful. Oh, we're so dead. Oh, we're so dead. Run. Flee. Oh, my God. The AI sometimes. You just have to believe. Oh, we're go Does he really think we can take them on? Like, why are we, ch why are we chasing him? He has 171 men. Okay, now we're going home, I think. With both of us, though, we could have done it. Oh, well, we, we, we trapped that person and we escaped. At least I escaped, so I won't complain too much. Now we're heading home to rebuild our army, uh, which I, I'll take. God damn, we'll drop a save here as well. It's always good to make sure you save, like, every... Basically, whenever you jump out of a battle, I like to save. There's holy fuck right there as well. We'll dive in here, drop off our prisoners, get some more recruits. I mean, so far, Kuro is doing a good job. I, I'm, I'm happy with the way he's led us. I mean, his defensive rings aren't ideal. 
Um, but, you know, he's, he's done a good job, I think, so far. Uh, and we obviously, we've taken a, a very valuable city as well from the Kuzites. So I'll take the Akala is, uh, yeah, pretty profitable one. It has like three villages, I think, in it. So it definitely does the job. Uh, just some looters again. We'll, we'll dive into this because there is a good chance we can get a couple kills, which again does add up some good experience. But I'll just triple speed it through. The cavalry is going to run through them. And it's just whether or not they break or not. Hopefully they, they don't. I mean, I can get in. And it's also good athletic, you know, good training for the, uh, the athletics um, that I'm going to be doing. Okay, no, they, they've already, they're long gone. <laughs> they're long. They immediately break, yeah. I mean, we can, we can just order resolve them battles as well. So when we catch them again, if we catch them again, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. But bandit siders do grow a lot more in 1.6.2. So, you know, we can still find some decent ones. I and mean, then obviously you also have the, the bandits and everything else that do arrive. Uh, from Freelancer. So we're just patrolling right now. Again, we don't need to fight these battles. Uh, and how are we doing on athletics? Is that, so we might as well wait until we get this before changing. So you can go ahead and go ask for a different assignment and then make a different decision. So for example, if I'm doing guard duty, it'll give me scouting. Actually, we put, we put a point in scouting. So I'll go ahead and just leave it in that. Scouting is good to get at least up to 25. And it seems like we are just cleansing the countryside right now. Clearing out uh, so much of the land. Again, have we made peace with Yazdor? Are we still fighting? I'm just choosing, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, we're at war with Sturgia? Why are we at war with Sturgia? So, yeah, we are at peace right now. Um, oh, we got another, yeah, quick gold mission. We'll do this again. These, you know, it's, it's a free, it was not a free, but it's a good amount of money. And there's very, normally very few repercussions. We have 15, they have 20. Okay, get back, boys. This seemed like it worked last time. Especially this time when we have less men as well. Let them come. I will hold the ground with you guys. Oh my god, it hit me. No! This one's not looking as good. Yeah, this one's not looking anywhere near. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> there's so many of them left alive. There are nine of them. Luckily, nothing really bad happens. We just get wounded. And that's going to be fine. Actually, kind of sucks because there is a tournament here. And you can actually join tournaments, but we're wounded. Is it going to let me join? Oh, it is. Okay. Am I going to be like one hit, though? So I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Oh, it's because I tournament rules as well. It's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we managed to dodge that. Thank God. So I may just go after the archers. There's no way we're in this tournament, though, with the um, with the status of our, our our soldiers. Also gives us some good opportunity to get some experience. So I won't I won't say no to that. Not that I can hit anything with my bow. Oh hello. Let's help out here if I can. Yeah, nice. We managed to win this. Luckily, I didn't have to do do much there. I'm like hitting his horse instead of him. There we go. Cool. I got a kill. I'll take that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bet on myself anymore, actually, because in situations like this, it's just not worth it. We are on horseback, though, so as long as we don't die to the to the, the spears, I'm, I'm good. Come on, you can do it. So help my guy. And the thing is as well, we don't have to be like the number one person in. We just have to be like the top two. You guys decided to stop fighting? Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, we have to just, you know, be the top two, which is good. Uh, there's no way I don't take a hit in the final though. No way. Oh, this is 1v1. One, one one. Oh, it's Naganata as well. <laughs> I love it. If it's a Naganata, I can win the final. We have to get some really good armor as well. It's Javelins. Okay. Javelins aren't my specialty. As long as we don't get hit, obviously we, we can get hit once. Boom, nice, I'll take it. A little bit of money, decent piece of armor. Now the question is, do I put that armor on? I don't think so. I think we wait until we maybe hit the next rank before we put that armor on because you can just equip yourself with whatever equipment you want. I don't think we do uh, because it would be kind of lame to be like, oh yeah, you know, we did win it in a tournament. So maybe our Lord would allow us to wear it. But you know, we are just a tier two. Kind of wait, yeah, maybe when we hit tier three, I'll switch over. Uh, and then we'll equip it. It does actually have a really cool flag on the back. That's like the best. That's like our top tier armor. 
I don't really want to be wearing, you know, you know, episode one, we're already wearing the best armor we have to offer. Um, also, I, want, I wonder if we've sent any armies to Sturgy. I really do. We can't really see up there, but apparently Sturgy did something very, very annoying to us. And we are now heading north, uh, which is funny. Uh, I imagine that war, we only last, I believe every war has to last at least 10 days. Yeah, I mean, you go, the war's over. Non-aggressions, our alliance with the empire is broken. And now, uh, yeah, now, now we wait for another war. And I think now is probably the perfect time to go ahead and call this an episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to keep on seeing more of this, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. Obviously, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is going to be the first five episodes are going to be in video format. So again, if you want to see me do more of that, upload them in more video format style things, then make sure you drop a like. If these videos do really well in video format, maybe it's something I'll do more of instead of streaming uh, and I'll stream something a little bit different. Um, but let me know. Uh, let me know. Drop a like and a comment down below. Obviously, if you, you've got any tips or tricks for me, let me know that as well. Any advice, obviously, take that down below in the comments. And if there's any other mods I can add to a campaign ongoing, also let me know about that as well. Obviously, mod list will be down below in the description, along with the playlist to this entire series. So you can just watch it from start to finish if you're watching this maybe a little bit later. And I'll see you guys in the next one.